Hello friends, today I am going to solve a problem based on Shapiro reaction. It is a special types of reaction used in synthetic analysis of organic chemistry. Here is a problem. Bicyclic tosyl hydrogen. When it is treated with N butyl lithium, two equivalent, two equivalent of N butyl lithium, and followed by dimethyl formamide. What is the product? First consider tosyl hydrogen like this one. I add one equivalent of N butyl lithium, the base butyl lithium abstract this proton. Since it is acidic, acidic hydrogen. So, what we get it? Like this one. When this negative charge undergo resonance it comes here and it goes out here tosyl group eliminated from this system so we get a double bond like this one here again butyl lithium abstract this photon because this photon is acidic so we get this one when this negative charge falls here and the negative charge located on carbon atom and we get a system like this carbonic system and this one this species acts as a nucleophile if we add any electrophile it attacks here here yeah, our problem the electrophile is DMF dimethyl formamide N N N N dimethyl formamide DMF so the negative charge here yeah, our problem negative charge attacks here yeah, this bond opened up and oxygen negative charge on oxygen it comes back and this one goes out so we get a system like this one here aldehyde group so we get this one this product will form on Shapiro reaction Suppose I go for a system like this one.
here I get here I take a methyl group here condition are same here this system it is symmetric in nature so base takes this photons as well as this photon it does not matter but here in this problem it is not a symmetrical molecule so base abstract this photon as well as this photon also suppose the base abstract this photon base abstract this photon then what happen we get like this one there is CHO and if base abstract this photon then what happen we get CHO and here methyl group remain same so which product will be more favored basically this photon will be abstracted to give highly substituted olefin or anodent like system since butyl lithium it is not a hindered base so it will prefer to abstract this photon because of this reason this will be more preferred so if a system it is symmetrical then it does not matter base can abstract this photon as well as this photon so the product will be this one but the base if the system is not asymmetrical so there are two possibilities so we get highly substituted annulate highly highly substituted anodate like system this will be more paper and actually butyl lithium it is not a hindered base so this base can abstract this photon so this product will be more paper but in our problem the system is this one here this carbon atom does not contain any hydrogen atom and so the possibility only one so this one the acidic hydrogen so in our problem here methyl group here methyl group and here tosyl hydrogen so there are only one possibilities here acidic hydrogen and base can abstract butyl lithium abstract this photon and forms this one here double bond negative charge negative charge comes here here negative charge and here it is lithium and this one can attack DMF dimethyl formamide the mechanism is same so what we get it a compound like this one here CHO group
now now i go for another system that is nothing but if i replaced this methyl group by a hydrogen atom then what happened so the system is like this one here hydrogen here as well as hydrogen and here tosyl hydrazone same condition that is n butyl lithium here excess amount of 2.2 equivalent of n butyl lithium and followed by dimethyl formamide now butyl lithium can abstract this photon as well as this photon there are two possibilities if base abstract this photon then it will keep a product like this if base abstract this photon then product what we get like this one here CHO allied group as we get highly substituted olefin We know highly substituted olefin like structure will more stable but actually this product will not form this product will not form the reason is braid's rule the Pairs rule states that it is not possible to introduce a double bond at the bridge head carbonatum. So we cannot introduce a double bond on this bridge head carbon atom because this one and this one are the bridge head carbon atom of this 2, 2, 2, 2, 1 bicyclic system. Here again 1, 2, 1, 2 and this one above 1. So 2, 2, 1 system. We cannot introduce a double bond with this bridge head position. For this reason this will not form and another possibility is when base can abstract this photon we get a product like this here hydrogen same so here double bond and this one aldehyde group so the product will be this one and this one will be the major product And we go for another system like this one. Here this this is two 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 bicyclic system. And here it is double bond and here tosyl hydrogen in NH T S. The hydrogens here 
one hydrogen and here two hydrogen atoms and here only one hydrogen atoms and in this system this one and this one these are bridge head carbon atoms so this hydrogen are bridge head carbon a bridge head this hydrogen located on bridge head carbon position so we cannot introduce a double bond with this like this or like this so this can abstract cannot abstract this photon because this hydrogen located on this bridge head carbon atom as well as this hydrogen also located on this bridge head carbon atom so these two hydrogen are not abstracted by by the base so only one possibility is this hydrogen this hydrogen are, are actually acidic and this this is this is not located on bridge head carbon atom so base abstract this photon and actually forms this one here it is double bond here ch aldehyde group and again it is same so this will, will be the major product thanks for watching have a nice day